Hello everyone, my name is Tandi Sahu. I am from Kasganj, Uttar Pradesh. I have done BSc, B.Ed. and I have also taught science for class 6 to 8 during my B.Ed. internship program. First of all, thank you so much for providing me this golden opportunity. So today I would like to teach biology and the topic we are going to discuss is cell. So students, have you ever wondered what living organisms are composed of? What is the basic fundamental unit of our life? And what is the thing that makes us different from the other non-living organisms? The answer to all these questions is cell. Cell is the basic fundamental unit of our life. Basic fundamental unit of life. Besides this, today we will also discuss about the types of cells. Structure of cell and cell organelles. We will discuss them one by one. So, first of all, cell. To understand about cell, we can simply do an activity. Take a small piece of onion and peel its skin and observe it under the microscope. Then we will see some similar structures under the microscope. These structures would look like this. These structures will look like this. Structures are known as cell. First of all, scientist Robert Hooke described these structures and he called them cell, which is derived from the Latin word which means little room. These structures look like honeycomb structure. Now, why we say that these cells are the basic fundamental unit of our life? How we can say that? So we can understand this, let us assume a building. A building is made up of many rooms and many rooms are further made up of many bricks. So the basic unit of a building is brick. Similarly in our life, the basic fundamental unit is cell. Many cells constitute and give rise to tissue. Then many tissue constitute and give rise to organs. Then many organs constitute and give rise to organ system and finally whole organism is made. Now the organisms which are made up of only a single cell are known as single cellular organisms and the organisms which are made up of multiple cells are known as multicellular organisms. The example of single cellular organism is amoeba and paramecia while the example of multicellular organism is plant cell and animal cell. Now we will study about the structure of cell. So if we see under the microscope, then we will see three main features of a cell. These main features are, first of all, cell membrane, nucleus, and cytoplasm. We can understand this by a simple diagram. Suppose this is a cell. Here it is cell membrane. This is a cell. 
cytoplasm. And it is the nucleus here. First of all, we will study about the cell membrane or we can say plasma membrane. Cell membrane is the outer membrane of a cell which basically separates it from the outer environment. Here we can see that this membrane basically separates the cell or inner content of the cell from the outer environment. This cell membrane is made up of lipids and proteins. This cell membrane is selectively permeable membrane. Selectively permeable means that this membrane allows only few of material to pass through it. That's why cell membrane is known as selectively permeable membrane. It is selectively permeable. Now we will study about the nucleus. So students, did you remember the mound that we have made on the onion? On, in that structure, we have these structures. In these structures, we see a dot in the center. This dot-like structure is known as nucleus. Nucleus further contains chromosomes and chromosomes further contain DNA. DNA is the material which passes from one generation to the next generation. Here we can say that nucleus contains chromosomes. Chromosomes are rod shaped like structures and which further contain DNA in it. Now, on the basis of presence of nucleus or well defined nucleus, we can say the cell are divided as prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Here we will study about them. So, we see the cell is divided as eukaryotic and prokaryotic. The nucleus is the structure which has membrane. The nucleus has double membrane bound structure like this. It is double membrane bound structure which also has nuclear pores through which substance can be transferred. So, if the nuclear membrane is not present, then the nucleus is known as nucleoid. So, in case of prokaryotes, pro means primitive and karyotic means, ya karyon means nucleus. In primitive type of nucleus, the, nu the nuclear membrane is not well defined. That's why they are known as primitive nucleus or prokaryotic nucleus. While in case of eukaryotic, U means true and karyotic and karyon means nucleus. So here a true nucleus is present. True nucleus here means that nuclear membrane is present here. A well defined nucleus is present here. Here well defined nucleus is present. The example of eukaryotic cell is plant cell, animal cell, while example of prokaryotic cell is bacteria. Now I hope this is clear now. Now the third part we are going to discuss is cytoplasm. cytoplasm this is the basic structure or we can say the fluid content present inside the cell is known as cytoplasm this is the fluid content present inside the cell is cytoplasm here many activities are performed so cytoplasm the fluid content present Now this cytoplasm further has many little cell organelles present in it. So in a cell we will see many little cell organelles are present which are further membrane bound like structures. These cell organelles are Golgi body, endoplasm, 
endoplasmic reticulum or we can simply say ER lysosome mitochondria plastid in vacuum so in cell organelles these different cell organelles perform different specific functions which are essential for any living organism i hope this is clear now and we will discuss about the cell organelles in our next video so what we have studied in this or what we have concluded in this video let me remind you so we have discussed that the basic fundamental unit of our life is cell which was discovered by robert hook in 1665 second we study about the types of cells on the basis of nucleus that is prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell we have also studied about the structure of cell that a cell has cell membrane nucleus and cytoplasm further we have studied that cytoplasm further contains many cell organelles These cell organelles are called the body, lysosome, mitochondria, and many more. So we will discuss about these cell organelles and their specific function in our next session. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 oh,